Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show and I am in the mood for lunch. I need something to eat and the only thing I have in my house right now is some lettuce. How am I going to make these lettuce taste amazing where it's going to fill me up and satisfy my appetite here? Well, I'm going to show you today and just like I always say, when you have any type of l l green vegetable, leafy vegetable, which is essential that we get on a regular basis in our diet, very few people like eating lettuce like this or kale like this or spinach like this. We want it into a salad. And what really makes a salad is the dressing. The problem is most salad dressings, if not all salad dressings you would buy from the supermarket are unhealthy. They have ingredients you can't even pronounce. They're too high in sugar, too high in fat, and we don't know what we're going to do with that. Well, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite salad dressing recipes. And I'm telling you this, when my wife uh, and I got married, we first, uh, she came over and I told her the secret that I'm going to tell everyone right now on a raw food diet. Salads are essential and salads are the key. But also being happy is essential in being the key. So if we want to be happy eating, we have to enjoy what we're eating. We've got to enjoy the salad. Well, you can use different types of leafy green vegetables and put a whole bunch of things like tomatoes, avocados, and celery, and a whole bunch of other things in there. But what really makes the salad is the dressing. So I'm going to do a series, and I, I have many different types of dressings on my website already, but I'm going to make a dressing here today. It's a very simple, it's, a, it's another form of a Caesar salad dressing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a half a cup of pumpkin seeds. So I'm taking a half a cup of pumpkin seeds. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Then I'm going to take about two tablespoons of pine nuts. So two tablespoons of pine nuts. And that's it basically. And when you think about a salad dressing, two of the main ingredients in, in many salad dressings are something fat and something salty. And that's what uh, you have when you have a, a Caesar salad dressing. And that's what we're going to have today. There are other types of dressings that have sweet and sour and other different types of flavors, but we're looking for fat and salty today in our Caesar salad dressing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, the juice of a half a lemon and I'm simply going to squeeze it there. And this is taking me some time because I'm slowing down to explain it, but I could whip this up in literally a minute or two. And, and it's, it's very easy, delicious, and this is what I recommend. I'm going to take one to two garlic cloves and just put that right in there. I'm doing all of this in a Vitamix blender. I'm using the small Vitamix container because it's just for me today here. And you can use this in any blender you can do this. The next thing I'm going to take, we're going to take some cayenne pepper. And cayenne pepper and salt are two things we're going to we're going to put enough into our taste. So I almost would recommend if you've never made this before, wait till you make it without that. Then add a little and see how spicy you like it or how hot you like it. If you don't want to use cayenne pepper, uh, you can use other things. Some people will actually use mustard for this recipe, believe it or not. And then there's salt. The same thing with the salt. Uh, if you've never made this recipe before, you know, add the salt later and see how much you like and measure it so you know for the next time. For myself, I know I, uh, I just put a couple of pinches of salt in there and I know that's what I like and that's how I do it. So we got that and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. So one to two tablespoons of olive oil. And basically, and again, if you want to switch it up a little, if you want to add hemp oil or a different ty type of cedar nut, that's fine. But this is the recipe and that's it. It's that simple. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of water, very little, and that all depends on the consistency you want it. I could add more if I didn't put enough. And I'm just going to blend it up here. Basically, there it is folks, Caesar dressing, Caesar salad dressing. And I have some lettuce that are cut up. I'm just going to put it right over the lettuce. And if I had an avocado, it would be wonderful today. But I am telling you, this dressing is rich and creamy enough for me where it is going to satisfy me just fine. Now the next question comes, what else can I have uh, that will go along great with this salad? Well, what do you normally find in a Caesar salad dressing? Croutons, right? Well, watch what I did. Okay, so here I have some lettuce that I chopped up. I chopped up some of these lettuce and I'm simply going to take the salad dressing here and I'm just going to pour it right into the lettuce. Very simple to do. Uh, always when people ask me, well, how do you make raw food recipes? You can get really complicated and you can make, uh, or I can make lasagna and burgers and things like that. 
But I often like to keep it very simple and just make exactly what I'm showing you now. I'm just going to mix this up here, my salad dressing, and it looks exactly like a seasoned salad dressing. Now, as I was saying, croutons are a big common part of a Caesar salad dressing. Well, what I did is last night I made some almond milk and I had the pulp left over from the almond milk. And here you see the almond pulp. And what I did this morning was I took this almond pulp and put it in a food processor with uh, sunflower seeds, walnuts, onions, and salt. And that's it. And a little bit of water. And I just blended that up. And, and then I ended up uh, putting little patties on a dehydrated tray and I'll show you all another day that exactly process but here's what it came out to and I made them into these little shapes but I could just crumble this up now right into my salad and just throw them right in there and they taste exactly like croutons and if I didn't want them in my salad here I could just eat them separately uh, just like these little these little pieces of bread they absolutely are delicious so everybody I'm gonna finish mixing this up here and I'll show everybody what this looks like here and there it goes again if I wasn't doing this in the camera I've done this enough times I could whip this up in just about one or two minutes and it's easy it's quick and it is filling I know it's only lettuce and you might say how can just lettuce be filling I promise you the recipe is heavy uh, and, and and the croutons uh, it's a perfect combination again an avocado would be wonderful to add to this tomatoes would make this great but this is what I had and this is what I'm doing and uh, I recommend you try it too. Okay everybody, so there's the final product. You see uh, my, my croutons right here and this is my Caesar salad dressing that I am going to indulge in. All right everybody, so that's that. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. Until then, have a great day everybody and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.